Out of Pride Month being this month and being shoved down our throats by corporations, one saloon is pushing back and celebrating heterosexuals in, in Idaho. Let's check it out. It is Pride Month. The Rainbow Mafia shoving their agenda down our throats for 30 days. Hide your kids or maybe take them to Boise, Idaho, where a, bo a bar on the outskirts of town called the Old State Saloon is turning June into heterosexual awesomeness month. A month uh, to celebrate all the straight people that put us all here. After all, as the bar puts it, none of us would be here without them. Every Monday in the month of June will be Hetero Male Monday, where free draft beers will be given to any straight guy who's dressed like a straight guy. There's going to be a judge to determine if the men are dressed straight or not. <laughs> On Wednesdays, straight couples get 15% off the bill. Thursdays are ladies, or I guess straight ladies night. Uh, hetero happy hour, straight women get happy hour prices all night long. And if this sounds offensive to any of you, that's because we've been so fully indoctrinated with the BS of woke society. I find it hilarious. Mark Fitzpatrick is the owner of the Old State Saloon, and he joins us now. Mark, this was the funniest story that I saw all week. I was looking forward to talking to you. Um, you, you, you got some cojones to do something. I think this is a fantastic idea, by the way. Like this, tell us why. Oh, man, so like overnight we've become the heterosexual headquarters for the country, it seems like. <laughs> but uh, we're coming up on June, and I'm looking at that month, and um, with my belief system, you know, I don't want to be forced into celebrating something uh, like that. Nobody should be able to be forced to, to no. celebrate something that you don't agree with. Um, I, I do want to say, I want to get this out there, I do love all types of people and sure. everything. But And that just looks like a really cool place to be it's very masculine masculine sorry masculine looking kind of a dark setting some pool tables very clean uh, a place that i would like to hang out and i agree i don't have any problems with gay people i don't but i don't want this agenda shoved down my throat let's keep going just because you love somebody uh, doesn't mean that you should have to get behind everything that they decide to do. And so yeah. as we're pushing that month, I just wanted to provide a different type of a celebration that's more uh, God honoring and and um, celebrates the way that God designed man and woman to be sexually attracted to each other and to procreate and all the things that come with it. Well, it's 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 forced orthodoxy, right? I mean, it's 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 so unnatural, and it doesn't matter for, even for people if if you're agnostic or atheist or if you're religious or whatever it is. If people have a problem with this on all sides, I mean, I, I think there's there's I think there's a lot of homosexual people in this country that disagree with what has become of Pride Month, you know, and and it's 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 become. I think it's become rather perverse. It didn't start off like this, and now it's 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 prone to just flat out nudity. You have kids at these parades, and you see fully naked men dancing around as if that's even remotely appropriate. And I think we should all agree on something like that. But it's it, it, this thing has evolved from what it started out as. I mean, it's 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 gone to a very it's gone to a very seedy place. And I you know I think what you're trying to do is kind of stand up against that, right? I am. Um, you know, you mentioned people walking down the street naked. That's a crime. Uh, I think this country is at the point where they're, they're ready to say, uh, you know, enough is enough to stop committing these crimes in front of our children. If the police don't take them into custody, I think people should walk out and do a citizen's arrest, personally. But that's just my opinion. Have you gotten busier in the last... I mean, yeah. What world is that okay where you can just walk around exposing yourself in front of children? It, the problem with is not... It, it's turned into something more sinister and now you bring kids involved with into it and all these drag queens story time telling and things like that like i said i have no problem with anybody who is gay i've never been a homophobe but i don't like the idea of it being this widespread where now it's like every company is pushing this down your throat and you have kids being having an agenda pushed on them in this in the schools and and parades and things like that Just, uh few days with all the media coverage oh it's swamped <laughs> absolutely swamped um and yeah. you know we've had so many people come and support us and just praying for us and leaving voicemails uh emails and everything it's it's i never expected anything like this it's truly amazing yeah that is amazing mark fitzpatrick uh we appreciate your time sir and uh next time in boise oh glad to be here we'll be there thank you so much Shoot, I want to go to uh, Boise and 
goes to that place. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I love it. I love being around like-minded people. And, of course, you're going to have some haters. But I would like to support something like this, something that is pushing back on this woke agenda and bringing some sanity back to America. This is what some of the haters had to say. Blatant attack against the queer community. This is, while, this is from Blaze Media. While a number of comment, uh, commenters under Old State's Heterosexual Awesomeness Month Facebook announcement absolutely love it, not everybody is a fan. A few examples. This is horribly disappointing. I can handle differing, uh, differing political views. I cannot handle bigotry and hate towards marginalized communities. Many of the people in my karaoke group are LGBTQ+. They now do not feel safe among your staff or patrons. Spin it however you think you can, but this is a blatant attack against the queer community. Every day is heter uh, hetero day. They're not a marginalized group. They're the norm. I don't care if you're glad you're straight, but pointing out their heterosexuality during my gay during Gay Pride Month is an affront. Is an affront, and othering is othering, and creates separation and discord. Perpetuating mundane and outdated norms is just to please your simple pea-sized egos and brands is actually really depressing. Expand your mind, let go of your straight pride, and love yourselves and embrace reality. In the mid. All, uh, all that was the following gem. <laughs> I support heterosexual people, but I don't know why they have to shove it in our faces. Wow. Shove it in, on our faces. Do that in the privacy of your own home. Well, that's how we feel. That's how we feel about uh, this gay pride stuff. This, we, look, I, I, look, I went to school with gay people. I've worked with gay people and I never looked at them as like they need to be celebrated. I just see them as a, as a normal human being. They, they may have a different, uh, they may prefer something different than I do as far as their sexuality is concerned, but that's their business. You can do whatever you want in the, in the confines of your own home. I don't care if you have a boyfriend and you're a guy, if you're dating a woman, you're a woman. That has never bothered me. I think just because of where I went to school uh, and the people I was around growing up is like I said, the, my peers growing up. We had some gay people. We had people testing the waters, and you know, students at the school. Like I said, I worked with gay people, and they've always been very good to me. They've always been very friendly towards me. Uh, never been disrespectful or anything like that. But we can agree to this. Look, like, you I live your life, and I live my life. And that's that. But we don't need to have this pride agenda pushed down our throats where every company is celebrating and changing their colors to, uh, changing their logos to rainbow colors and offering perks to gay just because you're uh, gay. But this salon, this saloon is doing that just to kind of push back on it and say, hey, we can celebrate ourselves, the heterosexuals, because without them, without us, we wouldn't be here. And of course, you know, he's, in, he's going to get some haters but I love seeing that there's been so much support for this because, like I said, people don't want an agenda. I think I think most people, the general public, does not really have a, an issue with uh, homosexuals. Most people I know do not really care. But it becomes a problem when it's thrown in your face every day. When you go to the movie theaters and it's, oh, Pride Month, Pride Month. When you have these little commercials coming on before the previews, the advertisements... Uh, celebrate Pride Month. This you can turn on the TV. Celebrate Pride Month. This Pride Month. That Pride. 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 Everywhere you go, we don't want to see it. We just want you. We we can live. We can live in peace together. I can walk past you. I can nod my head at you. I can say hi. You can say hi to me. Whatever. You do your thing. I do mine. But that's how it should be. We shouldn't be celebrating certain groups. That's just how I feel. We shouldn't. I I think just. It's like, it's a little bit different, but like, who is that? Morgan Freeman said, the way you end racism is you stop talking about it. I mean, it's a little bit different in this case, but if you just stop talking about it, then everybody kind of just goes on about their lives. And they don't really care. That's just my opinion on it. But let me know what you think. Do you like the idea of this? Do you think this is a good idea and a way to kind of push back and um, stir the pot a little bit? <laughs> But all right, guys, thanks for listening. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you. Take care.